In the 1950s, there are many civil rights leaders and activists, the most famous being Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X. Both have dealt with discrimination and racism their whole lives while seeing how poorly they and their communities are being treated. Both men yearned for a change to happen in the near future for the greater good. We hope to see and we plan to see the greatest witness for freedom ever taken place that has ever taken place on the steps. Racism in America has always been a big problem. Thanks to civil rights activists and leaders like Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X, the problem was highlighted and the two worked hard for change, fighting against Jim Crow laws, segregation, and social injustice. Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X created key points in history for why equality is important for our world today. They gave heartwarming speeches on how poorly they were treated because of the color of their skin. Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X both went through all sorts of racial injustices. Malcolm X mainly dealing with police brutality. Dealing in hate. We are oppressed. We are exploited. We are downtrodden. We are denied not only civil rights, but even human rights. So the only way we're going to get some of this oppression and exploitation away from us or aside from us is come together against the common enemy. <laughs> Who taught you to hate the texture of your hair? Who taught you to hate the color of your skin to such extent that you bleach to get like the white man? Who taught you to hate the shape of your nose and the shape of your lips? And Martin dealing with segregation due to their skin color. We are able to say to ourselves now that we do count. And I want to say to everybody under the sound of my voice this afternoon that you are somebody. Don't let anybody make you feel that you are nobody. You are somebody, you have dignity, you have worth. Don't be ashamed of yourself and don't be ashamed of your heritage. Don't be ashamed of your color. Don't be ashamed of your hair. I am black and beautiful and not ashamed to say it. Even after the civil rights movement and all the hard work from civil rights leaders and activists, racism continues to exist and thrive. A form of racism that was shown recently in this past decade was the global pandemic. The pandemic affected many lives, but who is to blame for this? Most people blame the Asian community for starting a pandemic and believe that it was their fault because the coronavirus was said to have started in the city of Wuhan, China. The FBI have reported a 77% increase in hate crimes against the Asian community. The amount of hate crimes committed against the Asian community had been around 9,000 from March 2020 to June 2021. One of these hate crimes happened in March 2021, where at an Atlanta spa, eight Americans were shot dead. People are dead after shootings at three different massage parlors in the metro area. Victims also caught in the crossfire. They shot my uncle. And now all eight murders are connected to the same man. We have live Team 2 coverage on the murder spree, the search for that suspected killer, and the danger. And six of them being women of Asian descent. This brings us back to the main key point. How did Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. affect today's civil rights? Would things be different? That's something that history will tell us in the future we have ahead of us.